The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the June 11th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check out the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question, but you can't dial in, we've got your back. Go ahead and send off an email to steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. So right now we're starting our day with a bit of a mixed bag out there. The mix is coming from the NASDAQ, which is up. NASDAQ 100 up two points right now. And then the composite is up 11. Dow's down 197. S&P down 13. Russell's off 18. Semi's down 25. Tranny's off 133. Gold is up three bucks. Silver's down 62 cents. Light three crude off 17 pennies. Natural gas up 15 cents. And the 30-year treasury print out 11701. That's up four ticks. If we take a look at... Uh, What's leading the charge in the clubhouse right now? You've got Madrigal Pharmaceuticals up 21 bucks. O'Reilly Automotive up $16. Broadcom up 11. Apple up 10. Service Now is up six. To the downside, MicroStrategy up 79 bucks. Uh, that's down about five percent. Super Micro a little less than two percent or 13 bucks. Asbel Holdings 11 bucks, one percent. BlackRock's down nine, one little over one percent there. And Coinbase is off uh, eight dollars and seventy cents. That's a three and a half percent move to the downside. So we got movers and we've got shares. Acres. Let's begin our day. Well, just take a quick peek in here. New York Stock Exchange, see where we're at with that advanced client oscillator. Interestingly enough, we're getting down towards that oversold reading. Oversold reading on this indicator would be when we get to the minus 150 level or minus 140 as we speak right now. So we'll want to watch that. Spot volatility still remains below its 50 day exponential moving average. Let's pull over to this chart here. Let's simply open that up. And what we can see here is price got up to, not all the way up to it, the movie, the 50 day exponential moving average at 1360. We got up to a high of 1347. It's that number, though, that 1360, that's a key level. If price were to close above that, that would be signaling that sellers are the ones that are in control of the marketplace. And here you can see the S&P or the ES Mini, which is attempting to form a new profile. That profile, the bottom of that right now at the moment is 5277. It's a bullish structure, bear structured profile. If this were to take hold at day's end, and I don't know whether it will or whether it won't, but assume that it does, if price were to close below 5349, it truly increased the odds of that move to 5277. Now, this profile, we talked about this yesterday because it was a different profile than this one. Yesterday's never took hold, but this one is doing the same thing, which is wrapping around the prior profile. This suggests that we are in a consolidation mode. Now, interestingly enough, let's take a look at this chart out here. This is a seasonal pattern, and this is the seasonal pattern right now for the S&P 500. Uh, this is over a 96-year period of time, and you can see in the red vertical line, 
that's where we're at today. And we can see that really this is suggesting that we would have a sideways move into about the uh, third week of June out here, then a little bit of a move lower into the end of June, June 26th, and then a move higher into the uh, July 16th uh, time frame out there. So what we're seeing here with regard to a seasonal pattern is what really seems to be playing out when we take a look at certainly the last five days, four days worth of movement out here, or you could really take it back. We've really been consolidating, if you will, and have to say since about the May 14th time frame out there. So we've been in a consolidation that's really matching up with, with seasonal patterns associated with the S&P 500. So what does that mean? That means we're probably going to continue this chop, chop, fizz, fizz. Uh, level out there. Now, that's with it regard to the S&P 500, the New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Oscillator. Let's go switch over to our white background charts, because what we're going to take a look at there, we're going to start with looking at the Russell 2000. Why the Russell 2000? Because of, all, well, actually, let's go over to the uh, to the charts that I have just dedicated to the Russell 2000. That would be these here. So two of the three uh, charts, uh, meaning the Russell 2000 equity future contract and the IWM, both of those yesterday confirmed a Gartley buy pattern. How did they do that? Well, in the case of the Russell 2000 equity future contract, it was a bullish hammer candle. In the case of the IWM, it was a bullish engulfing candle. What hasn't participated is the cash index. Does that matter? Not necessarily. It would be nicer to have a unanimous decision here and all three of them supporting that same thing, but we don't have that as we speak. Now, what we can see in the case of the Russell 2000 equity future contract, it actually didn't get down to yesterday's low, whereas in the IWM it has, and so far we've just seen, and right now it's a bullish hammer candle. I don't know what it'll be at day's end. As long as price does not close below yesterday's low of 199.01, you've got buy the D point, Gartley buy patterns that should result in rallies up towards their oscillator and change line or bottom of the profile, whichever one might be the target to the up first. So that's what's going on there. Let's take a look at, let's go from here, even though I think what's going to pop up is the uh, ES or the NQ. That's not the chart I wanted. I wanted this here. Well, that's the NQ. But, and we'll come back to the NQ. But let's go take a look at that Russell 2000 and see what was going on intraday here. That didn't work. Why didn't that work? RTY, 6 Okay, so it'll work this time. Obviously, Stevie Fat Fingers were not helping out. <clears throat> Uh, so let's take a look at the, what the Russell 2000 is doing from an intraday standpoint. It's going to take just a few moments for this to uh, populate out there. Um, I know that it formed on a 30-minute basis earlier this morning, a TD9 count bottom. Uh, I don't know. It looks like that probably was taken out uh, during the day during uh, uh, at the open. I'm going to go ahead and populate out here. Sorry that it's taken so long. Don't know why the system has slowed up a bit. Um, you can see on the 240-minute time frame chart, that's the second panel from the upper right-hand side. Uh, that is uh, potentially going to form a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern. So it just needs a bullish reversal candle. This is a four-hour time frame uh, panel is going to complete at 2 p.m. So watch that on the two-hour time frame chart. You've got that same type of signal. If at 12 noon, another 46 minutes from now, we have a bullish reversal candle that will confirm a bottom. Uh, the five-hour time frame chart is trying to do the same, uh, but this candle here does not close until 2 p.m. on the. Um, 60-minute time frame, you've got a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. A price should target its oscillator and change on at 2019.50. A close above 2019.50 is going to suggest that we rally further. The rally further would be up to 2023.20. So the Russell 2000 definitely trying to form a bottom. We just took a look at what the intraday charts are communicating to us, matching up with what we saw yesterday on the daily time frame chart. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. 
While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's take a look at the NQ. Here is the uh, daily uh, chart. We can see that uh, on this chart, that uh, profile we're looking at earlier on my other set of charts doesn't exist. So I don't really know that that's going to take hold today or not. What has taken hold, though, is that green oscillator and change line. Now, we have been trading sideways. Uh, both yesterday and today, the move lower found support at that level, that level being 19,013. But it's also finding resistance. So what's the resistance hold up? Well, it's along this top row here. If you look at the five hour time frame chart, we've got a TD nine count top. That TD nine count top says that a price were to close above 19,124.50, then that would that would fail and would suggest that we continued to add higher out there. Otherwise, what we have is really just a consolidation with inside its uh, the, the bearish structure of its profile. That's between 18,996 and 19,124. That's what the five hour chart shows. If we look at the four hour chart, we have a similar setup, although in this case here, we've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal, so it moves that resistance level a tad higher. It's going to be the all-time high that it's traded into, and that was back uh, at uh, 2 – well, I'm sorry, take that back. What we're looking at here is at 2 o'clock in the afternoon on June the 7th. That's the resistance level. That's 19,155. So you really need to see it close 19,155 in order for this market to move higher out there. So price, we see that the NQ, you know, hit this resistance level, pulled back. Uh, if you got... Uh, if you take a look at the two-hour time frame chart, you've got a wave number seven, Rhodes Mintum indicator top. It has that same price mark of 19,155. So we want to watch that. <clears throat> I don't see anything bearish. I just see a sideways movement out here on the uh, two-hour time frame. Maybe we're going to just continue to get that. Um, the other charts here on an intraday, <clears throat> I don't see any kind of a topping pattern. So it's really controlling the resistance level is that top row, in my opinion, the two hour, the four hour and the five hour time frame chart, I believe it was 19,155. So that's the level to be watching for it. If we take a quick peek here at the ES mini and see what the signal information is providing you and I, again, this will take just a, a moment here for this to update. 
And then once we do this, uh, we do have one request that is in the uh, queue. Would love many more. So if you are listening in, you can always send me an email, Steve at tfnn.com. And of course, instead, you can always call at 877 927 6648 or in the Tigers Den, just uh, post your request. So on a uh, ES Mini, uh, it still has that profile that's attempting to form out there. This profile, again, wrapped around the prior profile, suggesting that we get a consolidation should this, in fact, take hold. Um, price did close above um, the uh, this is a daily time frame chart. It did close above this high. This is the trading day of uh, May 23rd. That high was 53.68.25. Yesterday's close was 53 uh, 7125. So close just above it. And that itself triggered the A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Now, if this profile does take hold, well, then you've got 53.85.50 as your resistance level out there and support right now down to 52.41. So price would need to close above that 53.85.50 level in order to signal a further move higher. <clears throat> um, Intraday wise, so I believe we have the same type of patterns along the top row out here, and that is you've got a no well, even a TD9 count top pattern failed. So I don't have an actual. I have a sell the D point top is what's in place out here, and that was formed at five o'clock yesterday afternoon. So that sets up resistance here at 53.85.50 out there. But support we can see that bullish structured profile between 53.44 and 53.51. That level so far has held. You can't bust them down. Maybe price tries to bust it to the upside. Same kind of message from the four hour time frame chart out here. So you've got Rhodes momentum indicator pattern. That was uh, got that resistance level up here now at 53.85.50. This is really the better chart. I think we took a look at this yesterday, and this four hour chart is absolutely the better chart to be paying attention to. Uh, maybe not if you're trading on a five or 10 minute basis, but to give you at least a bigger view of what's going on. And right now, what's going on is it has strong support between the uh, bottom at 53.39 and center at 53.45. That sets up the bullish structured profile out there so a close below 53.39 on a four hour time frame basis would suggest to move down to the 52.86 level out there that's his td9 count breakout area on um, the shorter term time frames all i've really got on 60 minute looks like it formed a td9 count top and that took price back to its breakout level 53.41 which has held out there other than that i don't really see much else that i can share with you that covers the es the nq and the uh, Russell 2000 equity future contract. So let's go take a look at the uh, first and only request that we've got so far, and that's to take a look at ticker symbol NE. So we'll be able to spend some time on this chart, see what we've got out here. And NE is uh, Noble Corporation out here. Noble Corporation is trading right now at 44.77. So let's see what we can figure out is going on on the daily time frame. What pattern? So we can see the potential of an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside but very far away from completing that. Uh, that would, by the way, that would look like this here. So not that it won't take place, but uh, you know, this pattern, this is the A to B. We'll go see if that uh, B point was passed with volume and whether or not, and I don't know that it's gonna really matter at this stage here because we do have price that closed above the top of its daily profile yesterday, traded above it again today. But just to make you aware, so that uh, swing point out here at volume of May 1st, of 745,000 shares. When it was passed, it was with 1.5 million shares. So this generated an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside with a price projection of 39 or the $40 level. However, what's now gotten in the way of that uh, is, and this is for DPD inside the Tiger's Den, is price, you've got a profile change in trend. So that pattern at a minimum has been stalled. I can't say that it doesn't exist anymore because the only way that takes place is if price takes out this TD9 count top from May 20th out there, and that high is at 47.84. But what should price do from here? Well, let's go take a look at the weekly and the monthly, see if we can get any kind of feel for what they're communicating to us. And on a monthly time frame chart, what we can see here is a, a set of of lows that just continue to hold. I don't know why uh, just yet out here, but in the case of where should price rally to, I would say it'd be the 45.81 level out there. That is the bottom 
of its uh, weekly profile out there. So the daily profile change in trend, uh, weekly um, moving, uh, you know, hasn't taken out yesterday's, uh, last week's low or anything. So I'd say that 4581 is a likely price target. And you just have a consolidation with inside its a monthly profile. So what else can we learn about this? Well, first, I don't even know if we've got uh, historical data out here to see what its seasonal pattern is. But let's just take a look. NE is the uh, ticker symbol. Again, that is Noble Energy Corp. And the answer is uh, it doesn't. So sorry about that. Can't give you any kind of seasonal pattern here uh, for this instrument. Uh, let's do what's the next thing that we can do out here. We can take a look at uh, what's going on intraday. So let's get a feel for what's going on intraday out here. We'll start with the 30-minute chart, which has a TD9 count top. A pattern um, oscillator and change line acting as resistance at 44.98. We've also got some more resistance out here between 45.19 and 45.46. But unless price uh, closes above that oscillator and change line, it could be targeting the $43 level out there. So that's what the 30-minute chart shows us. Real quickly, see if there's any signal here on the 65-minute chart. 65-minute chart, uh, nothing that I see at this stage of the game. So. To summarize, Noble Energy, it should continue to rally, and 45.81 is a likely price target. So DPD, hope that helps you out. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento on Friday, June 14th and Friday, June 28th this month for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYJUNE24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Uh, well, let's go take a look at AMD. This is for Gray Rock inside the Tiger's Den, uh, looking for an entry point, where to buy. So we take a look at AMD. Let's take a look at the daily chart. Just simply expand this out. And we can see that this uh, formed a road momentum indicator bottom that turned into an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. It generated a sell the D point pattern. It did that on May the 29th. It did that again yesterday with that bearish reversal candle. Yesterday was a close below profile level gray rock. And today looks to be a second close below that. So that generates a change, a profile change in trend signal out there. And that suggests lower price. Now, in a daily time frame, I don't really have another support level. A price target would certainly be the uh, bullish engulfing candle, the swing point for May the 14th. That swing point is between 148.78 and 153.49. Turns out at 153.91 is a 0.6 rate retracement level. So I'd say watch that area next. What you'd watch is, does price move into the swing point, that's May 14th, Gray Rock, with less than 31 million shares? If it does, then you could potentially be forming a bottom at that stage. But we want to take a look at what's going on intraday and uh, the other charts as well. So speaking of the other charts, what do we have on a weekly chart? The weekly chart has a, uh, we can see that price rallied into the top of its profile. So we just have a consolidation with inside its profile. Now, this is a bearish structured profile. And we have price right now that's trading below the center line. Now, it's only Tuesday. So the question for you, Gray Walk, Gray Gray Rock is understanding where does price close on Friday. If it is below 164.20, odds favor move back to the 145 level. That's the bottom of its weekly profile. That could, in fact, be a buy point out there. So that would be another area to look. Now, on a monthly time frame chart, it looks like it has a sell the D point pattern. Regardless of whether it does or it doesn't, it does have a new profile, pretty wide in scope out here. The profile goes from 106.54 up to 200.46, so 100-point profile. Now, the first level of support, so AMD, we're suggesting is going to head lower. Well, <clears throat> we're giving you some potential price targets on the daily, certainly on the weekly. Those price targets, which are lower than what I'm going to share with you now, if price is going to get down there, the monthly chart must start trading and certainly close below its asset earn change line. And that's at 156.24 out there. So uh, now, what happens if price gets down to 156.24? or 23 and holds that level you'd like to see some type of bottoming pattern perhaps on a daily chart maybe it's on an intraday chart if we take a look at some intraday charts as an example i've got no bottom signal on a 65 minute time frame chart although it could over the next couple of hours create some type of td9 count bottom but i don't know whether it will or not on a 30 minute time frame chart here we have a td9 count bottom so this will be helpful to you from the standpoint of trying to answer, is price actually going to head lower? Well, if we were to see a close below this TD9 count bottom, that means a close below 156.92. This, of course, is on a 30-minute time frame. So that would be the time frame you'd be looking for. If we do get a close below 156.92, we're headed lower. Price is likely to run in resistance at about the 159.29 level. If you can close above that, you'd have a battle at 160, 161, and change out there, and then finally 162.67. So AMD definitely signaling to you and I, Gray Rock, that it wants to head lower. Let's uh, take this one step at a time. And that first step is going to be down around the 156 and change area out there. So I hope that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for your request. The next request uh, coming in from <clears throat> Mohammed. Mohammed writes in and would like to take a look at AutoZone. A-Z-O is the ticker symbol out there. So what do we have going on here in the AutoZone? We've got price trading out at 2799 bucks. It formed a TD9 count bottom pattern about uh, two weeks ago. It actually did it on the trading session of uh, June 3rd. It also has generated a road momentum indicator bottom. Now, price is well below profile levels, but we do see a series of a slight series of higher lows, and a slight series of higher highs out there. So I would say, Mohammed that what uh, AutoZone is likely doing is going to go target its TD9 count breakdown resistance level or the bottom of its profile, both in the same general vicinity, 2885 to 2895. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, 
The weekly time frame chart shows uh, an A to B equal CD pattern to the downside. So that looks like this. Here's we'll draw on the A to B. I'm just simply going to go ahead and move that over to that uh, C point, give us an estimated price projection level down around the 2600 area. Now, was that uh, swing point taken out with volume? The swing point was from April 26, 732 million sh or 732,000 shares, and that was taken out with 1 million shares. So you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the downside on a weekly basis. This TD9 count bottom and Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom has uh, gotten in the way of that. Only a close below those, and all that needs is a close below 27, 28, 97. If you were to see that, Mohammed, then price is going to go target or should target that 2600 area. If we look at the monthly time frame chart, we have a Rhodes Mentum indicator top with price consolidating with inside its profile. So its first level of support where there are some buyers, both buyers and sellers, is at 2727. I would say a price closer below 2727, odds favor move down to the 2463 area. So we've got we got really mixed messages out here, don't we? So what you're really watching for right now at this point in time is that daily time frame chart. And as long as price remains above that oscillator and change line, we may see a further rally. But if it closes below it, we're going to go test and target that swing point from back on June the 3rd. And that could then be what signals that move down to those lower area price points anywhere between 2463 and the 2600 area. So, Mohammed, I hope uh, just curiosity out here since we don't have that much in the way of requests. Just curious if we got AutoZone. Uh, as a uh, AZO, as a, a seasonal set of charts, we do. So let's go see what's going on with regard to AutoZone. Now, I'm not going to expand this out because I haven't figured out what's causing the conflict between this chart specifically and when I expand it to the entire screen, oddly enough. Now, what we have out here for AutoZone is 33 years worth of data. And right now, this suggests that this should actually rally, which is what we were looking at, wasn't it? This should rally into about the trading day of June the 15th out there. And then it should head lower. That, that ties out to what we're looking at on the weekly uh, time frame out there. Confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. So I, I would think, Mohammed, that what you'll want to do is you'll want to keep that in mind as well. So maybe this is really going to follow along that uh, seasonal out here and just rally for a few more days before it's just, before it starts to head lower to complete that weekly A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. So thanks as always for your request out there. Our next request, we'll take a look at most of this during the next break out there. And that is going to be all I see is we have. I don't know what we have means out there. Um, uh, uh, Al, am I on the wrong chart? No, not at all. So we got XPEV. And it uh, looks to me, just initially, like XPEV wants to go target the 695 level out there. Um, you're trading below profile support on the daily time frame. 730 is another price target uh, for XPEV. So definitely what this looks like, it wants to head lower. If it closes below 730, 696. So I'm going to go with 695 to 696 is your target to the downside. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We're going to go take a look at ExxonMobil with Sue and Bethesda Merrill. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Let's go take a, a drive out to uh, Bethesda, Maryland. Sue, how are you doing Good this morning, morning? Steve. Thank you. Good morning to you. Um, it, yeah, okay, good. Sounds like you turned the volume down in the background, so that's good. So uh, we're talking about your favorite instrument, ExxonMobil. Um, tell, yeah. tell me how I can best help you. Yeah, I bought it high. I was thinking to keep it for a long term. Oh, oh, oh. It's a two way. I have a phone. I have. Good morning to you. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, you got to turn the volume down in the background because it's coming through and everybody's hearing that and it's drowning out your, your sound. But so you bought this. So let me tell you what's going on with ExxonMobil. And uh, first yeah. of all, um, you know, the, the question is whether or not it's completed in oh, A to B I equals C. This one off instead. Can, can you? I cannot. Uh, um, oh. Yeah, I tell you what, hopefully it sounds to me like you're listening in on, on Tiger TV. So I think the production department just went ahead and turned that sound down. So hopefully, Sue, you can hear me clearly. So what I'm showing you is the daily, weekly, and monthly charts for ExxonMobil. And this had formed an A to B equals CD pattern out here. Uh, it passed the B point, which was the trading day of May 3rd, <coughs> which had 28 million shares. Uh, that was passed with um, <coughs> 19 million shares. <coughs> So lighter volume, but it hasn't actually gotten down to that price target, which is around 110.07 or so. <coughs> but what I have here oh, yeah. is two, two okay? hammer candles, <laughs> two hammer candles set for him. <coughs> Excuse me. There might be a third one today. Here's what you want to watch. And this is the low. That, and so I'm, I know you're talking about long term. We'll go take a look at long term charts in a moment. What I want you to watch, though, is on any move lower, if price were to close below 110.92, <coughs> that would be telling us about a further move lower. And I'd say that further move lower inside ExxonMobil would likely be about the 109.11 area. <coughs> oh, oh, Sorry I about that. Get it out then, <laughs> because it's yeah, only, now it's 112-something. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. Sorry about that, Sue, with regard to my cough and everything. Oh, I knew, I knew okay. it would pop 
I knew it would pop up at some point. Now, let me tell you about the bottom that has formed out here. And that's one of Basil Chapman's wave number seven pattern. And that is letter G. So that's also why that bottom that I was referring to on June 4th is so important to you at 110.92. Now, we've seen since that bottom pattern formed, we've seen price rally up into resistance. And resistance is this red oscillator and change line. So what you're looking for here to get into the all clear, so to speak, would be a close above 114.14. If you were to see that, Sue, that should take price up to 116.13. That's what's going on <coughs> play by play for the daily time frame. Yeah. You're looking at more of a long term okay. trade. So, so you're looking at more of a long term trade. So in the long term yeah, trade, I, right? Well, I bought it low, uh, really high and I should, keep, I should sell it, but I keep keep keeping, keeping, and keep dropping. So I, be, I better, you know, get it uh, right now at 112.50 something. Yeah. Yes. Right yeah, one twelve fifty four. So on an intermediate term time frame, so the level of support if price were to move lower, close below those daily hammer candles, would be at one oh nine ninety five. <laughs> and that one oh nine ninety five, that yeah, could be we'll that could be the that could be the buy. So if it does get down to uh -huh. that one oh nine ninety five level, that in fact could be where there's a buy. <laughs> yeah. Um so, you know, you're, you're in this. I'm going to take a look at the uh, monthly time frame chart and open that up. <coughs> you know, I don't – right now, I know you've been in this or been in the energy sector for uh, quite some time. I don't see, <coughs> wow, any reason for you to sell <coughs> this instrument at this moment in time. I just want you to be prepared that if it does move lower, where are the likely price targets? And I'll stick with the 109.95 as being that likely price target. Okay. And I apologize okay. for coughing in your ear. I really okay. apologize for that. I oh, hope you feel better. Thank you so much. We hear that. You, thank you. You, you. you bet. And thanks I so really much for calling. I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you mm -hmm. feel better. Thank I you. I appreciate that. You bet. Okay. That was Sue in Bethesda, Maryland. Man, I was hoping we were going to get through the whole show without just falling apart. <clears throat> oh, well. I'm going to continue on. I'm going to try to continue on. And well, as long as I'm here, though, let's go to a uh, request that came in uh, from Dano inside the Tigers. I want to take a look at CTSH. So CTSH has a confirmed TD9 count bottom. Uh, that uh, low came in on May 31st. The pattern was confirmed on June 3rd, the very next day. <coughs> Dano, what we've got going on here... <coughs> You've got a consolidation with inside the daily profile, and that's between 64.89 and 67.01. What you would like to see is two consecutive closes above 67.01. If you were to get that, this would be signaling to you and I that it wants to make a move up towards 69.66. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, it has a TD9 count bottom pattern. Price for its breakout level was also tested, which was at 64.49. So this should target, and it's just consolidating with inside its weekly profile at the moment. If we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, <clears throat> excuse me. If we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, you've got a consolidation with inside its profile. So the key level there for support would be 63.94, but you got a daily and a weekly bottom out here. And not until those patterns fail um, would that suggest lower price. Looks to me like CTSH wants to go ahead and rally. All right, let's attempt this one more time. Let's go out to Colorado and try and speak with Roger. Roger, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Oh, wonderful. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you. Uh, you know, I was actually feeling pretty good. <laughs> but the problem is <clears throat> I don't spend any time talking. So that's when everything oh. starts to kick in here. But that's okay. But thanks. And, and I apologize right. if I'm going to be coughing in your ear. So oh, I know it's sorry. NVIDIA that you want to take a look at, which had that uh, 10 for 1 split. And I think I've Correct. got a bad... I think I've got a bad tick on my chart here, so I'm going to have to switch over to the uh, black background chart. But tell me what you're looking for. No, I've got a bad tick all along. So, shoot. Hmm. <coughs> well, tell me how I can help you, and I'll do my best. Well, I'm looking right. I'm looking at um, you know the future, and uh, there are some talks that uh, has the potential to reach 150 level, and uh, just looking at the time frame. Sure. Well, 
if it's going to get to 150, so this uh, completed a TD9 count top yesterday. Today could be a Rhodes Mintum indicator top out here. I know again, I, what I don't know is uh, yesterday. Um, there, you know, I've got my my on both my system. I've got a bad tick out there, so I'm assuming that I'm not going to worry about that. And this is heat nine count top uh, is definitely in place out here, and you're trading with inside a profile. So at this moment, until I knew what yesterday's actual high, low, close was out there, I would say if price were to close, it's the only way it's going to get to 150 is a close above the high from June 6. That would be the TD9 count top. I believe that's the TD9 count topping. Uh, and that would be at 125.59. So that's what you'd be looking for price to close above. If price were to close below, it's green oscillator and change line right now. That's at 118.88. Uh, then we'd be looking at a move <coughs> probably back towards the 106.94 level. Might be 108.81, 112.54. Are you trying to get into NVIDIA or are you already long I, NVIDIA? I'm long in NVIDIA, but I'd like to you know, ask some more as money becomes available. Yeah. Well, so uh, the place where I would be considering adding at this stage here would be at that 106.94 level. And again, watch that high that we talked about because that would be the signal right. that's starting to head up towards that 150 area. All right, my friend, because of my throat and everything, Thanks I'm going to go ahead much. and... Uh, but I'll try to cover NVD for it tomorrow. Hopefully we get the correct date. Steve Rhodes with TFN. Right. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at natural gas out here. If I open up the daily time frame chart, we can see that price is trading above the top of its profile. That's at $2.97. We've got someone that would like to short natural gas. As long as price remains above that 297 level, 
I don't see the short out here because that's a profile change and another profile change in trend to the upside and more likely than not price is going to go target the swing point high from May 23rd out there and that highs at 3.161 the price closes above that that's going to establish an A to B equal CD to the upside pattern but that would be the place where you would probably go ahead and put on your short trade if you were so inclined to do that I'd be looking for some topping signals on some of the other other intraday charts out here I don't really have that as I see right now. So that was just a quick review, just simply because I don't have a ton of time out there. Um, if we take a quick peek here at IBRX, I think that's coming up here. This for Bob uh, from Spokane. Bob, this I've got this on a daily time frame that formed a buy the D point bottom pattern out here. And uh, that would get negated with a close below $5.85. I know this is out with earnings. The problem here is prices run into resistance right now, which is the center of that bearish structured profile, 650 so if you get a close above that, that would then suggest that price might go target 724. Not getting above that leaves us with the message that this is where a counter trend rally would run into resistance out there. With the weekly being below profile support out here, maybe it really does want to move lower after the earnings report. And finally, Let's switch over as best we can. Go take a look at our eight uh, top NDX 100 charts. I'm going to have to change screens as soon as I can get there. We've got about 45 seconds or so. So we'll just take a quick peek if we can at these charts. And then we'll come back to this uh, tomorrow. Uh, which one is it? Jeez Louise. Alive. I'm hoping that you got, no, that's got Netflix. That was the wrong chart. Son of a gun. Well, I'm, I'm uh, sorry about that, folks. But uh, I'll give it one more shot out here. But we're going to run out of time. Shoot. So what we'll do tomorrow, my apology, uh, Mr. Z inside the Tigers Den was asking for me to review uh, the top eight instruments in the NDX 100. I'll make sure that we get to that first thing tomorrow. Folks, thanks for putting up with my coughing uh, spell <clears throat> out there. Wish that didn't happen. But nonetheless, you're talking to Stevie, Perseverance Roads, and I will see you tomorrow, 11 o'clock sharp. Take care and have a great day, folks.